Hi guys, today we're going to talk about home automation. I've got a Echo Dot ready to interface with the Raspberry Pi. What we're going to do is put a script on the Raspberry Pi that will make the Raspberry Pi appear to the Echo Dot to be a Wemo device. Today what we're going to do is turn on and off some LEDs on a breadboard just as a proof of concept. I've ordered relays, which I'm waiting to get here, and on the next episode, or the next video I put up, will be how we use the relays to actually control devices. So, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is on your Raspberry Pi, navigate to github.com slash apptour slash FOMO, F-A-U-X-M-O. You're going to uh, download the zip here and unzip it on your device. You're going to grab this FOMO.py and put it in a place that is easy for you to find, home directory or whatever directory you want to put it in so you can run it. Uh, this is uh, a repo that I forked from Maker Musings. Uh, this guy did all the work on it. I've just edited it to work the way I want it to, to get it to work for a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have the script open here. Um, basically, all I did was edit an import for uh, Raspberry Pi GPIO as GPIO. And then you scroll down to the bottom here on the script. This is all code that he wrote mostly. Um, so this REST API handler is if you're going to have the request fired off to another server that's going to handle the request. Um, I added this dummy handler class, which I borrowed from somebody else's tutorial. I don't remember whose. Um, basically, all this does is when you add it to the handler, it will log it to the console when you fire up the script. And so you'll just be able to see it printed in your console, in your terminal window that uh, the request from Alexa uh, says on or off when you call it. Um, this one also is another one that I borrowed and modified from another tutorial on YouTube because it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Um, so this is the GPIO handler and um, you set the pin, set the mode, I set this to board because the uh, pins, I wanted to use the actual pin number uh, instead of the, the GPIO number on the board. So this is GPIO.board and it sets the pin number and says that for that pin we're going to set it as an output on Raspberry Pi. The on is what gets called when you when Alexa says uh, we want to turn the device on and it sets the pin that you specify to on or, or this is the print so it, this logs it to the console. You can delete that if you want to. I just wanted to see it as a confirmation that it was working. And then we say uh, output pin number that you specify, uh, set it to one. And then this, if you turn it off, set it to zero. So it's basically setting it high or low. And then return true. Uh, then you scroll down here. This is the array of handlers that was uh, specified in here originally in the, in the script. And this passes it off to the uh, REST API that's handling it if you want to do it that way. The way I chose to do it is this one. Uh, it uses the same office lights for testing and kitchen lights for testing. And then you call the GPIO handler here and you set pin 35 and 37. Now um, I'll grab a picture here of the, the pinout on the Raspberry Pi. So on the Raspberry Pi here you'll notice the pins that I was using are these three pins here. And those are pins 35, 37, and 39. 39 is the ground, that's this bottom one here. 37, since I set it to board, it's using these numbers here instead of like GPIO 05, 06, 13, so on and so forth. Uh, if you do it the other way, then uh, um, you'll use these numbers. But I did 35, 37, and 39, so this is 35, 37, and 39. So just to confirm, this is 35, this is 35, this is 37, this is 37. So. Uh, that determines which pins you're going to put out here. Uh, you can use any of these GPIO, the green ones here, if you want to. I believe you can also use these blue ones. Um, this one here, if you just want to test and log without doing it to the GPIO, then uncomment this and comment this one, and then it will just log to the to the uh, console. So uh, drop this script in your uh, on your Raspberry Pi device. So here we have the uh, Raspberry Pi. Basically what you're going to do is go to your file manager. Um, I created a folder called share. This is where I put my script, Fomaster. This is the script that you um, 
will drop. You can drop it here, you can drop it in your home folder, wherever you want. So once you have that in there, um, what you're going to do is go open up your terminal, uh, cd into the directory that you, um, cd into the directory where you dropped that script. So ls will list the directories, let's uh, cd into share, uh, cd, in, oops, cd into FOMO master, and you'll see the script FOMO.py, so what you're going to do is run it, F-A-U-X-M-O.py, and once you've started running it, uh, you can talk to Alexa. Alexa, find devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. So she's scanning for any devices. This will find the ones that you just started broadcasting. I've already run this, but if you kill the script and start it up again... I couldn't find any new smart home devices. If you have Philips Hue, press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. So I have already uh, found devices. If you kill the script and launch it again, you will need to uh, find devices. So once you've done that, you can call and turn them on or off. So Alexa, turn on office light. Okay. So it's printing it. Uh, the LED is on. You can turn it back off. Alexa, turn off office lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off kitchen lights. Okay. So there you should have uh, everything you need that will kick the lights on and off. So next week we will cover controlling physical devices using this method. We will have the Raspberry Pi kick relays on and off. And uh, so go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you next week.